Cool, Vaporman here. Today, we're going to be looking at nicotine commercials. Let's just jump. They sure work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah? I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Uh, let's go around back where we can't see them. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure white filter. Winston packs rich tobaccos specially selected and specially processed for good flavor in filter smoking. Yeah, Barney, Winston tastes good like a cigarette chug. The Flintstone has been brought to you by Winston, America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette. Winston tastes good like a cigarette chug. Now, that, for me, was especially egregious because they knew at the time that cigarettes caused cancer and they were marketing it towards children. Now, you know, as, as a enjoyer of art, and if the definition of art is something that elicits emotion, that ad gets five ashtrays out of five ashtrays for me, personally. I mean, it just, it ages so much better with time, just the anger and the frustration and just the shock value of it. it. It's amazing that something like that was allowed to go ahead knowing that smoking causes cancer. Speaking of just raw emotion in advertising, let's jump into the next one. Now, that was just raw emotion. And if you take a look at the screen, it says brain poison. And underneath, there you see flavorshookkids.org. Go visit that website, have a laugh. But uh, let's jump into the next advertisement. New Nicorette Quick Mist Cool Berry starts to relieve cravings from 30 seconds with a great tasting mild berry flavor. Uh, the great tasting mild berry flavor in Australia is available without age restriction and uh, yeah I guess you know it, it could still be a brain poison right because they sell aspirin without any sort of age restriction you, know, you can just go and go through the little automated checkouts and buy your aspirin or your vitamin D which is more toxic per weight than nicotine is you can buy a lemon flavored bleach so maybe it's still a brain poison let's Let's jump into the next ad and, and see what that one's all about. Before I quit smoking, I asked my doctor, is Nicorette gum safe? And he said, to quit smoking? Of course Nicorette gum is safe. Smoking is not. People smoke to get nicotine. And they get carbon monoxide and tars, which are deadly. Smoking is the danger. Nicorette can be a big part of the solution. Nicorette lets you use nicotine when you need it to help you overcome your cravings. Don't hesitate for a second. Nicorette gum helps you fight your cravings, your habit, your way. You can do it, Nicorette can help. Your habit, your way, right? Uh, don't hesitate for a second. But to be fair, in this ad, which looks like it was from the 90s, because you know, it's in the 4-3 aspect, it hasn't got the widescreen stuff. So maybe they didn't know at the time that nicotine was a brain poison, to be fair. Let's, let's jump to an uh, ad that's a little bit more contemporary. Who will you be? What will you do without that cigarette in your hand? I promise you, this is an anti-smoking ad. You'll never know until you quit. Lose the smoke. Keep the fire. 
with Nicotinell, the patch that keeps going 24-7 to help give you a smoke-free life. Lose the smoke, keep the fire. Nicotinell 24-hour patch. Keep the fire. Keep the nicotine. Lose the smoke. I mean, who would you be without a smoke in your hand? Who cares? Just buy the nicotine patch and put the nicotine on you. Uh, but the one thing that you've got to admire about this ad is it empowers women. There's, there's, nothing like, there's nothing like pushing out a safe message to don't smoke, just ride on a motorcycle at high speeds down a narrow alleyway. Good work there. But uh, speaking of empowering women, here's another favourite uh, nicotine ad of mine. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy this one. It used to be, lady, you had no rights, no right to vote. No right to property. No right to the wage you earned. That was back when you were laced in, hemmed in, and left with not a whole lot to do. That was back when you had to sneak up to the attic if you wanted a cigarette. Smoke in front of a man? Heaven forbid. You come a long way, baby, to get where you got to today. Introducing new Virginia Slims. The slim cigarette for women only. Tailored for the feminine hand. Slimmer than the fat cigarettes men smoke. With the kind of flavor women like. Mellow mild Virginia flavor. New Virginia Slim. In the slim purse pack. You got your own cigarette now, baby. You've come a long, long way. About as subtle as a sledgehammer, that one. Uh, look, what can I say? That was an advertisement from the 70s, and to be fair, there was a bit of a renaissance in subliminal messaging in the 80s. Uh, here's, here's another one. I want you to just, as you're watching this, take, take a few notes, maybe just put them in the comment section of all the subliminal messaging that goes on around this next ad. It's a doozy. <laughs> Sun up in Malibu. It's midnight in Monte Carlo. When Rio strips for the day, LA rides the high rolling sky. If you seek snow with go, ski hop the Alps from chalet to peak. Or play the world wherever the urge hits you. In Saint Tropez, you sport the bare necessities. Ipanema wears a honey tan while you watch your man. Or race the Côte d'Azur. And chase the smiles all the way to Carnival Brazil. Jet ride through a barrage of color. Get that wonderful Stuyvesant feeling. The pace of the young, fun world. From the snow runs of Flem to the coral reefs of the Red Sea. vibrant and racy world of Peter Stuyvesant, the international passport to smoking pleasure. Chase, chase the flavor uh, when the urge hits you. Uh, wonderful feeling, the pleasure of cigarettes. I mean, it's, it's subtle and it's there and it mixed in with the imagery. It's just like the 80s was an amazing time for advertisements. Thank God. There's no more of this sort of subliminal messaging in advertisement today. Let's see what's next. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Don't think it ever bring me down. From my caffeine high! Taste the feeling. <sighs> How did that get in there? My goodness. I mean... Caffeine and sugar, 
are not bad for your health. They don't lead to things like heart disease and whatnot. The majority of doctors will tell you that. Uh, honestly, and then the other thing in this ad, I mean, it's a little bit more subtle here, but did you notice how she rubbed the product against her bare skin? It's like, oh, I'm at the beach with all these other young people, but no, it's, it's this Coke bottle. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, goodness. Uh, you know what? I'm going to edit this quickly. I'll just change around the colors, put, a, put different text in there, and just change the audio, and uh, hope you enjoy. What are you doing? Okay, but look, the majority of doctors will say caffeine is perfectly fine, sugar is perfectly fine, and the majority of doctors will tell you that vaping is bad for your health. So let's, uh, let's, let's, see, let's see another advertisement and see what a doctor's opinion is. You know, if you were to follow a busy doctor as he makes his daily round of calls, you'd find yourself having a mighty busy time keeping up with him. Time out for many men of medicine usually means just long enough to enjoy a cigarette. And because they know what a pleasure it is to smoke a mild, good-tasting cigarette, they're particular about the brand they choose. In a repeated national survey, doctors in all branches of medicine, doctors in all parts of the country were asked, what cigarette do you smoke, doctor? Once again, the brand named most was Camel. Yes, according to this repeated nationwide survey, more doctors smoke Camels than any other cigarette. Why not change to camels for the next 30 days and see what a difference it makes in your smoking enjoyment. See how camels agree with your throat. See how mild and good tasting a cigarette can be. I wonder where this chick is now, honestly. That'd be hilarious if she's even alive, which I doubt. But just, you can see, she did not like the flavor of that cigarette. Ah, uh, doctors. Do you remember when COVID first hit and they were all like, don't wear masks, don't wear masks. There was a shortage, they're like, don't wear masks. You'll get the COVID on your hands and you don't know how to handle the mask properly. The COVID's going to get on your mask and then you're going to catch it. You're more likely to catch COVID if you wear a mask. Then when the shortage ended, it's like, everybody wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, you're going to be killing grandparents. What are you, a monster? Huh? Anyway, I haven't had one ad about vaping yet and I have selected one. And it was brought to my attention by the ABC. The ABC put this ad in their news story as an egregious example of vaping companies marketing directly towards children. So uh, I found that ad and we're going to watch it in its entirety. Now, once again, I want you to look out for examples of uh, emotion. I want you to look out for examples of subliminal messaging, you know, the health claims and the flavor claims. And remember, this is the ABC's news report example of this marketing towards children for this craze. Here we go. I don't know about you, but uh, after watching that, I really want to uh, travel to a faraway island and fornicate on a beach while enjoying the rich, smooth flavor and the health benefits that come from that particular product. If you don't know, now you know!